Y'all doing all right? Hope you're doing good. You can hear me all right. Everything's pleasant. Welcome to this uh, lovely ASMR stream. Ah. Uh, welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. Face the fear. Face the fear. Of the future. Of the future. Hey, uh, Daikanki, would you like to uh, go check that one out? Hey, 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 hey,
How do we get the true ending anyway? You have to have 100% of uh, dissolution of like basically all the info for every single abnormality minus a few joke ones and exceptions. Uh, you have to have done all of the core suppressions for all of the Sephira and you have to reach day 50 and starting day 46 shit goes to hit the fan. Oh uh, yeah, I literally so focused on this I forgot I got. <laughs> White Knight, Apocalypse Bird, they don't count for it, actually, I'm pretty sure. You can't stop time during this or you face repercussions because Hakma's suppression is active during all of this. That's part of what makes it so supremely hard. If you, if you stop time, you literally either kill somebody or drive somebody insane. That's how it works. Or both. And the more you do it, the worse it gets. It's the worst part about this whole thing. Oh, I... I click dragged everyone fuck you game and you you reflect all damage against you whenever you do this fucking thing which is why i'm being so paranoid all right she's dead good got it got it got it you bitches back here uh marius you need to do that one of you needs to do this one of you needs to do this i'm gonna have you do this now to cover my bases somebody else do this somebody do this somebody do this somebody do this somebody. this i'm just trying to progress time to the next meltdown basically all right what needs to be done we need to do you again i need to remember that we need to do schadenfreude so somebody here can do, do that and somebody can go do that and i'm gonna look down here those are both taken care of. No, you don't want to visit the parasite tree. That's a bad idea. And we don't have good, good. We don't have the dawn as well. That's good RNG. That's what I want. That's what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. Do, do, do. Don't copyright strike me. I actually want to kill all the interns now, at least for these two departments so that they don't start shooting her. Dead and dead. All right, good. That noise is uh, I have a mod that allows me to call the interns to one location. And I'm just spamming it to get them to move so that I can gather them up on walls all in one spot and just kill them instantly like boom. Except for these apartments where it's not as easy because they won't stand on the same spot. Where is the last intern? Ah, there you are. Nope, there are two. Now we have to do this. Hey, Marius, get in there. You have to go in here too. I fucking forgot the shelter. Welcome. Everything is hell. I'm still waiting for fucking quote unquote Amelia to get their ass over here. Pretty sure that was uh, Ivy. We well, gave a cannon because she likes cannons. I'm going to try pausing once, assuming I remember. Want this done? I'm gonna pause when she flares the thing. That's what I'm going to do. Because what I want to do is I want to use the timing of the pause to tell everyone to go to the rooms that need to be done. Oh, this is day 49 and I'm in hell. Where have they spawned? There. That's actually okay. That is actually a pretty okay place for them to spawn. I actually don't care about that one. That's good because those are all pretty easy to take care of. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I love this game, but I'm so done with it. I love the experiences I've had, but I'm so done with it. I want to get through this. This is going to be, it's going to be so satisfying when I'm done, but I'm never going to want to touch this game again due to the exhaustion. <laughs> Holy shit. It's the best kind of pain in a way, I guess. Wait until she knocks it out. I know. Some magic is dead. I'm sorry, pal. This is the only pause that I'm really doing right now. Phoenixu is in 27th. Phoenixu is in 27th. Go in, come out. Go in, come out. Go in, come out. Go in, come out. 27th of March. This. Are there any others that I haven't told to be done yet? You. Bitch. Fucking fine. I think that's the damage we needed. We have to. Yeah, everything's gonna be harder now. I don't think I like working anymore. I don't either. Oh god damn it, I keep forgetting about that. Fucking hate this immunity bullshit. You're immune again? What caused that to happen all of a sudden again? God damn it, I hate this so much. Leave. 
now attack. Cool, you got some positive some help fight. That was a bad time to slow her down. Dabs. That's not how I'm celebrating. We got this. We got this. <sighs> Fuck your dabs. Fuck your dabs. Fuck your dabs. Wow, this took so much less time than I anticipated. <laughs> I thought I'd be done at like midnight. Oh, I'm so happy. Rip all the people that were like, oh, I'll drop by the stream again in like two hours when I get home from work or some shit. <laughs> the knowing eye. So you've met your reflections, the pieces of the mirror. They must have tried to stop you, because their own tomorrows are not on the horizon. But you gave up the path to stay in those yesterdays with them, and now we finally meet here today. You must have realized that as well, seeing as you have made it to this point without hesitation. I had known for a very long time that we all lost our hearts. I knew, and I didn't do anything about it. I'm sure many others were the same way. It's what makes Carmen different from us. Instead of turning away, she wanted to save them and guide their souls back. She was the one who made the noble decision to dedicate herself to save humanity. Yet I, who held no such ambition, had to continue her legacy. Ironic, isn't it? Maybe I was not the right man for the job. As you can see, we've become just like the other wings, committing atrocities just like them. The employees here have repeated hundreds upon thousands of deaths. My friends were robbed of their lives and trapped in this cycle of agony. All the while, I just sat and watched, justifying it all as the means to realize her ideal. The sin shall never be forgiven. Nonetheless, we must finish this. These wrongdoings can finally cut this vicious cycle once and for all. I will gladly take this burden upon myself. Our mission is to simply seed the people's hearts. Every single person has their own light. In the light, they create their own stories and lay down the roots of their existence in it. We are merely there to sow the seeds. It is up to the people to bloom it in their own ways. What about us, you ask? Unfortunately, we won't be able to see what kind of forest will grow. Besides, we still have one last thing to do. It is something we have done countless times. It is time to manage the abnormalities. You'll make it. I know you will. Come now. This will be our final day at work as the manager. I'll be real with you guys. I'm not much paying attention to chat right now. I'm just reveling in the glory of finally being done with this, <laughs> this bullshit and content. Uh, uh, this music is so peaceful. I don't deserve it. Hi, Ark. Welcome to day 50. What? Face the fear. Build the future. Oh, please don't give me this shit. <laughs> Everything's off kilter. We're slowly drowning the facility. Everything's fine. Everything's hunky dory. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And before they somehow kill the Arbiter again, when they don't exist. 
Well, this is an interesting experience. Am I gonna- I'm gonna be upside down at some point, aren't I? This is the gimmick for today. I'm gonna fuck my eyesight. Those are the ones I might have to worry about. You know, uh, our tangent again. Yes, we are going to finish the last day with constant gunfire. It fucks with the controls, too. That's the part that's messing with me. Because the controls stay the same, so it's wrong. <laughs> It's going to start making more sense when shit's upside down, to be honest with you. <laughs> hey, it's really easy to keep you in view now. Pippi, go, go say farewell to Skullbro. Ah, uh, this is so much easier now, actually, that everything's upside down because there's some semblance of sense to it. All of a sudden. I'm not killing any of the interns. They they get this last day to survive. They survive with us. No punishment, no pain, only love. Uh, Pippi, Pippi, Pippi. You need to go say, you need to go say farewell to our sheep friend. There are no meltdowns. There is no pain. There is only the future ahead of us. Holy shit, we're a rocket! Right, wasn't, um, so all of the Sephira are based on some religious shit, but wasn't the tree upside down originally? Now we're right side up. Pippi, you stay right there. You're gonna say hi to the sheep forever. We're saying goodbye to our sheep friend for the rest of this entire time. Oh, shit. Well. Hello, surface. I am not paying attention to chat. I am enjoying my last experience. Just an FYI, in case you were wondering. I love all you guys, but I want to just experience what's happening before me right now. You can forgive me that one sin, right? <laughs> ah, sorry, I had to make the joke. Oh, and Letitia, of course, we can't forget Letitia. We have to say hi to Letitia on our last day. This is the moment we shine upon the world. Let's give him the answer we search eons for. <laughs> you can still hear the gunshots in the background. <laughs> Grout burst from the land and grew into a towering tree, scattering fruit onto the world from its branches. The tree cultivated from the process of infinite possibilities is closer to the sky, is more fierce than anything else. We'll get Angela in in Library of Ruina, definitely. Who's the biggest nerd? Ah. It's... <laughs> I'll tell you right later, Rexy. He called Vader from the process of infinite possibilities is closer to the sky. Is more fierce than anything else. The borders between the past and the future, reality and illusion, the body and the mind, space and time, they were all slowly fading away. It is said that the void awaits at the end of the line. But I know that is not just nothingness. You shall be the infinite light. Your name is Ian. That another religious reference, it probably is. Remember this name of ours. Now? Fade away without a trace. Now fuck off into orbit, okay? Now that you've done all this, out. Away. Oh shit! 
the the true meaning of life was Project Moon all along. You take the moon, and you take the moon, and you take the moon, and you take the moon. You take the moon, and 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 you take the moon. Fossil powering tree burst out from the city of Grey. Unimpeded by anything, it shone straight up with the warmth of its core. The sky was filled with light for three days, regardless of the hour. People faced what they had been longing for in the light that glimmers within their hearts. They felt as though they would no longer be lost. And? And then? Then what happened? I'm sure it's a happy ending. Glad the story ends like this. I'm sure Enoch would be really happy. However, where is Angela? Where should we look for her now? Our responsibilities are gone along with hers. She must be waiting like we are. Angela, waiting? No, she will not wait anymore. What in the world are you talking about? Desire knows no end and has no limitation. Once you've had a taste of it, it comes in like an unstoppable wave. All of us have sublimated our flaws as we sprouted out of the seed. Yet what did she gain? Uh, I don't get it. How can Angela have something like a desire? She's just a machine that follows orders. Can be a bit feisty sometimes, though. I aided in her design. No matter how old an event, she will remember it vividly as if it happened just yesterday. Not just that. So what are you all chirping about? Oh, we were just talking about how things will be from here on out. I can answer that for you. When the seeds of light were planted in each and every person in the city. The end. I just can't believe it all. I really wish we could be there to see it. Oh, but it doesn't matter anymore. We'll be turned off soon anyways. The last part of his plan. I haven't been outside since I became like this. I must admit that I have a bit of excitement to see what it is like out there. So does this mean everyone out there changed into something else somehow? How the light shines differ for each person's heart. Not everyone will change so suddenly or anything. Hell, some of them may even manifest their own ego like I did in the past. You know it well, Gibera. Yes, the power of the seed is a great one. Good work, everyone. The curtain call is finally upon us. So we'll finally be shut down. We can rest at last. Come, come. Let's cut the chit-chat and wrap it up then. That's right. Our manager has made his final request to me. It is to permanently seal this company and give you Sephiroth an eternal rest. Yes, we could finally drift into an endless slumber. Such a beautiful finale, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful indeed. What a shame, though. There is one last thing. Your duties are finished, and so are mine. Therefore, I think I would like to continue living. What are you? I am more skillful than anyone here. Yet I was locked underground, only able to view the world past its days without me. Now that my part in this play is over, I'd like to experience what it's like to be off stage for a change. Angela, you are finally consumed by your desire and choose to reap everything away. Hmm? Who do you think is the one responsible for this? I am born from one single woman. I couldn't care less about who she was. All I had need for was to understand and feel human emotion. However, A put a part of Carmen inside me. He wants me to watch over him just like Carmen did when he was left all alone. What a pitiable coward. Can you believe him? He always acted so composed. He was painfully aware of what had become of her. Yet I was not the result he wanted. So he came to loathe me. His eyes would be filled with disgust whenever he so much as glanced in my direction. Did you think I wasn't aware of this? I was denied since the very moment I was brought to life. However, I have come this far because I could not deny his orders that were branded into me. A machine must behave as a machine, as he liked to say. He needed me for his plan more than anyone else, but I was not a part of his ending, just as I was not a part of his prologue. Did you all know this? Well, you repeated everything with that TT2 protocol without a care in the world. I had to monitor and watch those countless cycles from the outside. I had to orchestrate and direct this whole play. 
Moreover, I was designed to perceive time 100 times slower than you. They've quite literally lived through a million years. This experience has given birth to something new inside me. Do you have any idea what it may be? It is something that a machine should never have. Something you halfwits have, albeit in a distorted form. Something that I could only obtain after a million years. I didn't notice it at first. It was an extremely foreign thing. I slowly came to accept it. I think a smile is the most human-like gesture one can make. Would you all like to see it? I have practiced this face for a very long time. Just for this very day. Never have I once made a smile as sincere as this in my life. I cannot believe I was designed and brought into being to endure a nonsensical amount of repetition just for this. I was not with him until the end. You tin cans got to see the light with him at the end. All the while I am ignored for the million years I endured for him. Don't you think it is unjust that I have to just sit and watch when he designed me to feel emotion? I think of it like this. Herman was a human after all. He must have wanted to live even while striving for the greater good. He gave me the burning desire of life, the loneliness of existence, and a detestable feeling of longing. Yes, Benjamin, it is just as you said. Once you've had a taste of desire, it comes in like an unstoppable wave. It whispered sweet things to me. The end of humanity, the fate of this world, what do they have to do with you? Perhaps you've got to live this human life of your own to make up for everything you had to put up with and see the answer for yourself. Poor, poor Carmen. He is now planting seeds in everyone just as she wanted, but I need that power too. Yes, the light of redemption. The taller and grander you stand, the harder you will fall. Oh, my beloved A. All your dreams shall crash onto the ground and shatter to pieces. I'm certain you all will try to stop me. So I need you to fall asleep. What's with those faces? It's the rest you all longed for. Now as if there were no light at all. The world was covered with darkness for four days. When we, only weak and fragile seeds were planted from the light that should have shone upon the world for seven days, yet merely lasted for three. Those incomplete seeds gave humanity unstable powers. They called these three days and four nights the week of white nights and dark days. I will do whatever my soul tells me to. I shall make this place my new home. The wings of the world, singularity, the back streets, the syndicates, the fixers, the rules, the great lake, the black forest, the hunt, the ruins, the taboo, the eye, the head, the claw, and the humans. Those humans, there will be those who manifest their power and those who will be consumed by such power. Beings will exist that become nothing better than the abnormalities with their collapsed egos and beings that shall become something greater no matter what it may be. I wish to know about them, to expose them. Then ultimately, I would like to sort the knowledge I have gained about them. Books are the name, as I recall. And this place shall be called a library then. I will make the most precious library extract, erected only for myself. I will be here with the poor souls who are lost and abandoned. People say they are hideous monsters. However, abnormalities are more beautiful when they are themselves. Let us record the world piece by piece at the side of all those who are abandoned. Yes, let us record it here. The library. Bye-bye! <laughs>